what are the hallmarks of, of the best offensive lines you've played on throughout the course of your career, and how long does it take to develop those, um, especially with a new group like the one you guys have this year? Yeah, you know, the best offensive line I've played on, they're just a bunch of hungry guys, you know, humble uh, warriors. You know, they just grind every day. They're just diligent about, you know, the small details of being an offensive lineman. You know, there's a lot that goes into it. Feet, hands, hat placement, pad level. Um, and I think that our group has components of that. I think we have a bunch of hardworking guys. Uh, Colton Miller uh, doesn't say much. He's a quiet guy, uh, but the guy works his ass off. He's, he's in the weight room. He's getting stronger and better every year. He's out there in pass protection. Uh, and I'm sure you guys were watching practice. He's out there locking people down. Uh, you got me, I'm just an old school grinder. I, I bring it every day, uh, bring the energy, keep the guys going, keep them focused. Uh, Andre's a young guy and he's an extremely intelligent guy, incredibly hard worker, great athlete. Uh, you got Denzel and Big John over at right guard. Both both guys have, have seen some action. They're, uh, they're capable of being starters. Um, but again, at their core, they're, they're hard working guys. And then we got Leatherwood. And uh, he's, a, he's a very polished uh, rookie. You know, he came from uh, the University of Alabama with a lot of success, and uh, they did a good job with him down there. Another guy, he doesn't say very much, but he works hard. Uh, so that's it, man. We're just trying to get it all to come together up front. You know, we're working hard. Uh, coach Cable is a, an awesome coach. He's one of the best offensive line coaches I've played for. Uh, we really have a great relationship. Um, and that's it, man. We're just putting in the work every day, just getting better every single day. There's always something to work on, always something to get better at. And you can feel that hunger from this group. Thank you. Do you notice any generational gap between you and some of the younger players? Or as offensive linemen, you guys kind of speak your own language and do your own thing. Uh, is there, are, are, do you sense anything? Yeah. Yeah. I think the biggest generational gap is the music. <laughs> the music these guys listen to is terrible. <laughs> it's all the same. I mean, it's, it, it, it's nauseating. Um, but uh, no, I, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a single guy, so I, I, I get where they're coming from. You know, I, I don't have a wife, I don't have a kid, so I hang with the boys, me, Andre, Colton, uh, all the guys on the line. So there's not too much of a, a big gap. Um, you know, the biggest thing I see is just it's – this will be a broad generalization. I'm not talking about anybody in particular, but, you know, not a lot of uh, – not a lot of the guys that come in get it, you know, about the grind, about the hunger, about, you know, when I, when I came in, it was be quiet, get in the weight room, earn your reps, earn your spot. Now these guys come in and it's, you know, Instagram and Twitter and all this, all this hype and, uh, you know, oh, I did this in college and they kind of live off that. And, uh, you know, it takes them a year or two or three to, to learn what it takes to stick at this level. And a lot of them, you know, don't learn it till they're out. So I think, uh, you know, that's what I'm constantly on the guys about. You know, you got to be hungry every day. You got to grind. You got to, you got to really want this with every ounce of your body and just, you know, put everything you have into it. So, um, yeah, I don't feel too old out there. I'm getting up there, but I don't feel too old.